And if you're more comfortable on the other side of the table, you're welcome to do that too, but you're fine as far as I'm concerned. We have Dr. Ray Hunter here extracting venom from monocle cobras, AKA Cobra Men. Say hi to everybody. He's literally the one that always displays. <laughs> nice hood. Literally, whenever we're out. Let's see if I can catch him without a hook. There's a couple that do it. Do we have a, gab a gaboon here? No. No, we do not have a gaboon viper. We can't mix the venom anyway. They should hear you, Rip. No problem. Oh, they can hear me? Yeah. Even if we had a gaboon, we can't mix the venom from a gaboon with these monocle covers. I never squeeze the glands, I just massage them. If they're not giving venom on their own, I'll just massage the glands just to entice them to inject venom. Most of the time they give it on their own. So the venom we're extracting here today goes to a pharmacy that they will be making pain medication from. We'll be extracting a few dozen monocle cobras today. What do you think the yield will be? Um, probably about 35 milliliters, which would come out to um, seven grams after it's processed. It takes five milliliters of liquid venom to equal one freeze-dried gram after the lipolization process. This one's big enough to be a uh, caution. It actually might be. Like it. There she goes. So we extracted about three to four monocles, and that's the yield so far.
which is approximately probably about seven milliliters there. How long does that go? However long you want it to, buddy. What would you say is a lethal dose to kill a man? Um, the textbook says one drop of cobra venom is enough to be lethal to a, an adult human. I always teach two drops just for that safety margin. Certainly two drops of this venom would be lethal to a human being without treatment and anti-venom. But most texts say one. This job is dangerous, but Ray is a professional. How long have you been doing this? About 34 years. There's a track. Just so people understand, this is not the cages they're going to be housed in. These are just holding cages while the crew is back here changing out their, their cages, substrate, fresh water, and all that. And then these gentlemen who are training to get their permit are gonna take the snakes out of the holding bin to their actual homes. We're not feeding today, they're gonna to be fed Monday. Why are we doing this? We're doing this, this the venom gets sent to a pharmacy where they're making pain medication from. She didn't have too much in that one. That would have been a good to massage the gland. They're asking you, Ray, have you been bitten before? Yes. Many, many, many times. <laughs> but Ray is, he has like superpowers. No. He just walks it off. The actual explanation is I self-immunize, I inject diluted a mixture of nine different diluted venoms into myself, nine different species of snakes, every 21 days to um, to peak my immune system to build up resistance to the venom. So most of the time when I do get bit, especially by cobras, it doesn't do a lot. At least I keep breathing anyway. <laughs> and what venoms up with? Nine different venoms, five different cobra venoms, I think three different mamba venoms, two greens and one black mamba, coral snake. That's four and five. I think that's nine, right? And that is to boost his immune system just in case he does get bit. Not so much in case, for when. I, do. <laughs> I wish it was in case, but it's more for when. I don't know any venom extractor that has never been bitten. Humidity in Florida makes this wood swell and it makes the cages hard and somewhat dangerous to work with. After this row, we can let you guys put them filming or whatever. Might as well. Yeah, people Doesn't can hurt. see you guys. The venom gets sent to a pharmacy for pain medication. Yep, this is a dangerous job, but this is Ray's passion. For him, it really isn't a job. 
There she goes. If the snake falls on the floor, which usually doesn't really happen, you just. It does just And it doesn't hurt them if they fall on the floor. See? They don't go after my feet. They just want to get away. They're not trying to kill you. They just want to escape. See that much Massage it. Sometimes I just don't want to give you anything or very little. I think we drop out of that one. And you would think the bigger ones would really give you a lot of venom. I tend to get more venom out of the smaller ones. Did you mention about putting the tubs away like that? <laughs> the snakes? No. <laughs> Who's first? Mark. Let me get down yeah, next yeah. My snake. I'll get a real safe snake hook. <laughs> well, where's that one I used last time? This might be better. <laughs> That's Ray's favorite hook. <laughs> used for any and all snake. You know how many people two weeks ago thought that that was seriously my new snake hook? When I, I thought I made hooks and made it very clear that it was a joke. But a lot of people thought that I was very serious about that. Mark here is training to get his venomous permit, so they help me by putting them away and it gives them some exposure to handling the venomous snakes. I don't know if they could see the real animal in that cage that scares the life out of me. <laughs> it is a big old cockroach. COVID doesn't bother me, but the cockroach I don't like. That was a deep. Yeah, and he's not a particularly large cobra. Yes, we do carry anti venom.
guy's a decent size. Yeah, this one's a good size. <laughs> we are collecting the venom to send to a pharmacy to produce a, a specific type of pain medication. Uh, do they hear you or is yeah. they type out what you say? They hear They're it? typing their question. Uh, they can hear him. Okay. They type out what you say. They hear They're him. typing their question. Uh, they can hear him. Okay. As you can see, you can be very gentle with them. You don't have to rough house them. You don't have to do anything that's going to hurt them. We never open the cages with our hands like this. There's nothing in this one, obviously, but you never use your hands because they, they could be right here like this. There's nothing in this one, obviously, but you never use your hands because they, they could be right here. Letting them cytotoxins in the venom. I'm not crammed in. Do charge out. Do charge out. <laughs> 